चल ठीक नहीं है यस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट गॉस थ्यूरम गॉस ला और गॉस थ्यूरम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टेट इलेक्ट्रो स्टेटिक्स यस हाउ टू डिसाइड द गॉस ला एंड About what relation it is given? Let us see. Uh, we are considering one space. A surface area. You think of one kind of surface area. Spherical in shape. You choose any one point at the center and decide their charge Q located at the center. Wherever the charge is located, around this very charge, an imaginary surface is formed around it. In the spherical in shape, and we call it as Gaussian surface. A spherical Gaussian surface. A spherical Gaussian surface. Now you think that. This very sphere has radius r. We also decide here one yes, we have taken at the point O. The sphere on which this very shape of the cone we have decided here, and the area of the saddle line is ds. Area of the saddle line is ds, and uh, a line will join the center of the sphere. to the surface is also drawn here with the dotted lines and we draw a perpendicular vector here in the direction perpendicular to the surface just a straight line not bending directly perpendicular and we call it as The electric field. Electric field is around the charge body. Electric field is around the charge body, and area element is considered here with the side lines. Area vector is also directed here. You can write area vector as d s vector. Yes. So, what is the statement of the Gauss law? According to Gauss law, it is stated that the total flux passing through the closed surface area. According to Gauss law, Gauss law states that. Gauss law states that Gauss law states that 
the total total electric lines of force total electric lines of force total electric lines of force which is called electric flux total electric flux through a closed surface area through a closed surface area area is 1 upon epsilon times 1 upon epsilon times the net charge the net charge enclosed inside it within the surface net charge enclosed by the closed surface enclosed by the closed surface This is the statement of the Gauss law. This is the statement of the Gauss law. Hmm. Gauss law states that The total electric lines of force, that is electric flux through a closed surface area is 1 upon epsilon naught times the net charge enclosed by the closed surface. This is the statement of the Gauss law. And this very statement can be written in mathematical form also. How to write in mathematical forms? You let us see here when we are writing the mathematical formations of the Gauss law, we know that the total flux, electric flux is phi E, and this can be written as the closed integral of the electric field over the element ds over the surface S. So total electric flux, passing through the surface area in through which the surface area the field lines are going it is 1 upon epsilon naught times the total charge in close what amount of the total charge has been taken here is here q located at o and the red line shows the gaussian surface this is the formula of the Gauss law. This is the formula of the Gauss law. Hmm. Now you come to decide how to write this very formula. What is the process of proving this formula? S is here the surface area of the Gaussian surface. S is here, the Gaussian surface of the hmm. the proof of Gauss law Proof of Gauss law. To prove this law, we first decide 
the Q is the charge enclosed. Q is the charge enclosed. And uh, imaginary Gaussian surface is for S is the surface area of the Gaussian surface. S is the spherical surface area of the Gaussian surface. We know that R is the radius, R is the radius, for simplicity, we have decided that this is the surface area of the Gaussian surface. And we think for here, electric field, wherever the charge, electric field is around it. So we just write electric field as electric field, uh, which is away from the charges, directed along, away from the charges. Electric field at any point on this electric field at any point, electric field at any point on the Gaussian surface, surface S. How to decide electric field at any point on the Gaussian surface? We can find the electric field as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught charge upon R square. This is the formula for the electric field. And we have written the formula according to the Gauss law. When we know that the electric field is here in the first step, what is the direction of the field? The field is going away radially. Electric field is going away radially. Electric field is directed radially away, radially away, outward at all points. Electric field is directed radially away in all possible direction. And uh, electric field is directed radially away at all points on the sphere. We have suppose here area element also. In the first figure, we have seen uh, this very area element and area vector is also going in the direction of the field. So, how to think of the area? You just come to the diagram and then you decide. Yes. If electric will be directed radially away, how to find the flux? The direction of direction of field and area is the same. Direction of field and area. Direction of field and area, you think here. Hmm. 
the direction of electric field is just parallel to the direction of the area element and there is no angle between them. So under this case, we can find the angle so that we can write the electric flux passing. Electric flux through the area element ds is d phi e and we apply the formula for electric field with the ds vectors we write here mode of the field mode of the ds with the cos of the angle with the cos of the angle this becomes e and this is ds only and what is the value of the cos theta theta is here zero degree so cos zero degree is one we can write here ds into one ultimately we are getting eds ultimately we are getting eds now we are writing this equation too and from the formula one and two we can interrelate the relation for flux electric flux field is here one upon four pi epsilon naught charge upon sar square with the ds so we see here how to calculate the electric field here. We have written here d phi and when we integrate this to get the total flux to decide it, total flux can be calculated. Total flux can be calculated. Total flux we can calculate Total flux we can calculate total electric flux is given by by taking integration of the equation for d5. We integrating both the side the electric field and we are taking clause integration for one upon four pi epsilon naught times charge by r square ds. This very integration is taken over the total surface area of the Gaussian surface. Now how to write here the step for the formula obtaining. We just Hmm. So, phi E, which is nothing but the integration of the d phi E, is the constant term taken outside, charge is there, R square is there, integrations over the ds over the element. Now you can see here in the formula how we are taking outside. We take care of here the value of 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught times charge divided by r square. How to write this very value? If ds is the one small part of this, this is the small ds. When integration is taken, it becomes total surface area. And uh, we just put the value of the closed surface area of the ds as 4 pi r square. Area of the sphere. 
तो यहां पर तुम देखो फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द टोटल स्क्वायर नाउ यू कैन इजिली सॉल्व दैल्यू ऑफ द एप्सल नॉट टाइम्स चार्ज बाई आर स्क्वायर इन टू फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर फोर पाई कैंसिल आउट आर स्क्वायर कैंसिल आउट वी गेट द रिलेशन फॉर a constant term epsilon not multiplied with the charge which is nothing but the total electric flux which is the closed integral of the total flux elements and this is the gauss theorem we have got by taking the calculation you once again decide how we have written here this is for rule number this is for rule number 1 first step then step 1 is here after that which step was there no step 1 Electric field is here. How to write the flux? Where is our flux? Yes. Field is parallel to the DS element. Recall that flux is E DS. There is no angle. Cos theta is zero degree. This is the equation two. With the help of one and two, we have got the total small electric flux. Taking total electric flux by taking integration to both the side. After that, we just have written total electric flux operating on the closed integration over the element. All our side constant terms are taken out. The surface area of the machinery. Gaussian surface is four pi r square. Cutting all the terms, we get the formula for. So, we prove the proof of the Gauss law. So, our one kind of problem given in the electrostat is. to decide to state the gauss law and how to explain how to so that the total electric lines of force crossing the surface area is equal to 1 upon epsilon not times the total charge enclosed by the gaussian surface so student you will all revise all these terms okay are you listen yes sir okay you are able to talk okay you will write this on your notes books and revise so today is sufficient okay yes sir so you take rest now you just revise all these terms what we have discussed today uh today's discussion is started from uh gauss law na 10 yes this is the starting points 29 of april uh for class 12 electrostat Will be. Hmm. You just give the remark of the days. Which day today? Saturday. And 
you just line up the main important theorem. This is the very important theorems of electrostate. How to state, you will just write and revise. So today's discussion is started from page seven. Okay. Okay, I am now ending our lectures. You will all revise and take care of your studies. You will all write down on your copy.